Yeah, really proud of our guys. Um, you know, complete team effort. A lot of guys contributed. Um, you know, I thought we started a little slow, um, you know, a little lackluster in the beginning, but um, we really picked it up um, towards the back end of the first half and uh, kind of took hold of the game in the early part of the second half, and I'm proud that we uh, closed it in the end. Coach, three guys in double figures, six guys uh, made at least one three-pointer tonight. Could you talk about, you know, how well your team spread the offensive load tonight? Yeah, um, you know, I think that you know we've we've kind of been struggling the last couple of games, especially offensively. No secret, um, you know it's, it was great to come back home, uh, familiar rims, you know, get the fans behind us a little bit, um, and, and guys just made some shots. Um, you know I was also proud of our defensive effort. I thought we, we, we followed the game plan. Um, that that's always where we're going to hold our head and, and where we're going to focus the most. But uh, guys definitely made shots. And Darius making his return tonight. Uh, first, you know how how would you evaluate his performance? And, and second, uh, you know, in his absence, you guys kind of moved to a different sort of offensive scheme. You played a lot more big men on the floor. Uh, how do you feel like his game, you know, blended into what you've been running without him? Tonight? Yeah, I, I, thought he, I thought he did an unbelievable job. Darius Quisenberry has not had a full practice um, the entire time. So, you know, without practicing coming into a college game after not playing for a month, he did unbelievable. Um, you know, credit to him, he knew everything we were doing. He was locked in on the sidelines, remembered all the new plays we put in, knew all of our defenses. Um, so for not playing for, a, you know, at least a month, he's been un it was just unbelievable. Um, now, obviously, he has a little bit of cobwebs, um, but, you know, we, we don't worry about that with him. He's, he's, a, he's a competitor. Um, you know, yeah, I, I, thought he was, I thought he was really good. And, and, and another piece, like, it, it would be really easy for him to come back and try to make it all about him um, and try to, you know, be the leading scorer. And, you know, I think he allowed our other guys to be good tonight um, as he's working his way back. And, you know, going forward with, with two games left before you guys head down to D.C., uh, do, you, do you see him, you know, still coming off the bench? Oh, I mean, I, we'll, we'll figure it out as we go. We'll figure it out as we go. And then, you know, elsewhere around, around the roster, I mean, Chuba with, the, with his six consecutive double-double. Obviously, the crowd was really behind them late in the game tonight. <laughs> Could you talk about, you know, what he brings, what he brought tonight? Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, no secret for us, man. He's, he's been our heart and soul for, for all year. Um, what he's what he's been doing with, with uh, stats wise is unbelievable. But more importantly, I think off the court, him as a as a leader and kind of the elder statesman of our bunch uh, has been really good for us. I, I did I had no idea that that's why they, they were cheering, um, but I'm happy for him. And also, finally, uh, Ross Slavnovitsky. He had a great performance tonight as well. 15 points. Um, Obviously, you know the, the teams. You know, the team said on social media that, that you know he's been he's been dealing with what's going on with his family in Ukraine. You guys obviously have the, the Ukrainian flag and, the, and on your uniforms tonight. Could you talk about you know how you helped him deal with this situation and his performance tonight? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think there's anything you can do. There's nothing you can really say to make it better. You know, it, it, it kind of is what it is. It's, it's a horrible situation for him, his family, and his countrymen. So, um, you know, we just try to be there for him as much as possible and be able, if, he, if he needs to talk, we try to be around him as much as we possibly can. But I don't think there's any soothing words that can uh, help him uh, forget about what's going on. So. Um, and, and in terms of his performance, I mean, he, he's he's been coming all year. He's had he's had a challenging year because of injury. Um, he got injured a couple times during the summer. He hasn't played in two, in almost two years, even to begin with. So for him to just keep getting better and staying the course has been great for him. And really proud of the way he played tonight. And UMass's defense in the beginning of the second half, they kind of got into a bit of a run there, but you guys were able to push through and, and, and close out with a big win. Uh, could you talk about you know? What about UMass made them a little bit tough in the beginning of the second half? I mean, they're, they're a competitive team. I mean, you know, well coached. Um, you know, we, we, we expect that. You know, teams aren't going to just lay down, um, right? So that you knew they were going to make a run. Um, you know, just, they switched their defenses up a little bit um, and came after us. And, you know, credit to our guys, handled their pressure and uh, got us into what we needed to get into and close it out. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Okay.